All right, so here's how to set up automatic payments and billing in Square, the Square portal dashboard, if you want recurring payments. So you log in, go to invoices. I'm trying to see how to move this, there we go. All right, maybe not. Go to invoices, go to recurring. You can choose your location. So this location here, create recurring series, this blue button here. You can create a new customer or find a current customer. So if I find myself, and let's say iPhone 16 Pro Verizon monthly data invoice. You can put more details here. There's a month. Type up more stuff, whatever. 16 Pro Verizon data bill. Put $50 recurring. You know, you can add tax, whatever, right here. Change your tax. If you have a contract, if you make them sign a contract, you can just add that as a, an attachment. Boom, add the attachment if they sign a contract. All right, sorry, so yeah, you can add the contract here, any custom fields if needed. You can add a late fee too, which is pretty cool. So it's, you know, if they're late, 30 days, seven days, whatever. Um, so the recurring schedule, you can start it immediately. You know, right now it would take the first payment or you could have it start in 30 days, seven days, whatever. Um, each invoice is due, you could send, you know, in upon receipt or, you know, seven days, send it monthly repeat every month, end it never or after a specific date. So you want to allow current repayment, uh, recurring payments with a Carter bank on file. So we'll move this up. Accepted payment methods, card, bank, gift card, you can choose all those things. Uh, there is a fee, excuse me, a fee with a card. So then you can literally add the card right here. So if I'm the customer, you know, you could put in, sorry, the card information, you know, da 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 da, -da. save that and it'll bill that card. That was a fake, you know, it was fake numbers, by the way. Um, you could turn on some tipping if you want. You could share this with the client and with us. So if we want to be notified of all these things, you could put our email. Reminder, so this is important too, seven days before, due date, one day after, three days after, you could edit the reminders, shipping now. So all that's in here, it's saved, it notifies them, notifies us. Um, so that's how you set up the recurring payments. And if they don't pay, it sends them a reminder. If they don't pay after like 30 days, you could just turn off the contract or whatever it is. Cool, I uh, hope this is helpful. Let me know if you have any questions.